I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the opening market minute for Monday, July 1st. Soybeans and corn are both mostly lower in the early going, continuing to digest last week's quarterly stocks numbers, which came out a little bit larger than expected for both crops, while watching U.S. development weather. There is rain in the forecast for many key U.S. growing areas over the next several days, and that could include severe storms in parts of the region. USDA's weekly crop progress and condition numbers are out this afternoon and are expected to show at least a slight week-to-week decline in USDA's corn and soybean condition ratings. Wheat's up. It remains heavily oversold. It continues to watch U.S. hard red and soft red winter harvest activity, along with signs that India might be importing wheat in the near future. Live and feeder cattle are lower in the early going, watching the distribution of this week's direct cash cattle show list while reacting to last week's direct trade, which was only steady to modestly higher, contrary to some expectations. And hogs are mixed, adjusting spreads and continuing to keep an eye on demand, especially demand after the Independence Day holiday on Thursday. With the opening market minute for Monday, July 1st, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.